When it comes to power tools, it can be overwhelming. And we get a lot of questions. One of the most common ones we get is, what exactly is the difference between brushed and brushless tools? I'm Shannon, and this is the Beginner's Guide series, where we'll cover a wide range of topics for anyone new to the world of power tools. And by the end of this video, you'll know whether to reach for the brush or brushless tool before your next project. Welcome to the Beginner's Guide with Ryobi. Before we begin, be sure to subscribe to this channel and click that notification bell so you can be the first to hear about new product announcements, project ideas, DIY tips, and so much more. The first thing we're gonna take a look at is the actual motor in the tool. That's where brushed and brushless tools get their names from. While this next part might get pretty technical, it'll give you a better understanding of what's going on inside the tool. When it comes to brush tools, the brushes are referring to two rectangular pieces in the motor that are made of carbon. So when you pull the trigger, the energy from the battery travels to the motor where these brushes clamp down on the spinning commutator. This transfers an electrical current into copper wires called the armature. Then magnets cause the armature to spin, which spins the rotor, which spins the drill. While this type of motor has been reliable for decades, it does come with some limitations. The constant friction causes the brushes to wear down, resulting in less power over time. Plus, the only way to get more power is to make a larger motor with larger brushes, which means a less compact and efficient tool. But when it comes to brushless motors, effectively, all wear items have been removed. So we removed the commutator, and now high-efficiency solid-state electronics, known as MOSFETs, take their place. In other words, this motor uses magnets that spin to create a rotational force. You've also got the addition of a printed circuit board assembly, or PCBA which acts as the brain of the tool. For example, if you're drilling into a softer wood, the brushless drill will know not to use any unnecessary pressure. On the flip side, it'll know to add the additional power when dealing with a tougher material. So to put it simply, in many cases, a brush motor is affordable and reliable enough to get the more casual jobs done, but the brushless motor will offer more power, torque, and runtime. It will also be lighter weight, more compact, and work for longer. Now let's do a quick demonstration between the two types of tools to highlight their differences. Now in this demonstration, we will drive lag screws with both our brushed and brushless versions of our 18 volt one plus quarter inch impact driver. As you can see, the brushless unit will win this comparison 10 out of 10 times, which you can also assume translates to all other brush versus brushless tools, no matter the application. Now the question is, should you go with the brushed or brushless tool? And the answer is, it depends. What are you using the tool for and how often? Let's consider the type of user you are. Our brushless model will provide the power and longevity you would need for large scale projects, repairs and renovations. Not to mention a professional using tools every day on the job. If you're just a casual user who's into simple DIY projects and quick home repairs, our brush unit will get the job done. Thanks for joining us on this episode of The Beginner's Guide with 3OB. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, share, and comment below what topics you'd like to see next. Check out our other beginner's content like our Tools 101 How to Use series, and much more when you subscribe today. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.